What's up, my beautiful people? This is Galactic Goddess Tarot. And today we will be doing messages from your person for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and join our family. Also, if you would like, give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And it definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. Please keep in mind that I am reading for a collective. So this video may or may not resonate with you. If this video does not resonate with you, feel free to watch your moon and your rising sign. And also just keep in mind that not every single card may be your message and that's okay as well. So if the card doesn't apply, we just let that shit fly. All right, my Sagittarius and Sagittarius cross watchers. Before I get into the video, I do just wanna talk to you guys for a quick second. Um, I do wanna apologize for the time that I have been away. Um, these past like two months have just been really tough for me, okay? Um, and I'm just the type of reader I don't personally like to read when I'm just not feeling it energetically, okay? Um, I just had my, my birthday literally just passed, okay? You see the little birthday crown and my little birthday box over here. <laughs> um, these are my birthday nails right here. Um, but yeah, I my birthday just passed. My birthday did lift... My birthday definitely has something to do with what lifted up my spirits, um, got me feeling good again, got me feeling like back, like I'm back to myself. I had to just, you know, I had to take some me time, okay? Um, so I do apologize for the wait, you guys. I appreciate all of you guys being patient. I appreciate everyone who reaches out to me on Instagram. Um, I love you guys. Um, but yeah, so now that we are here, we're go let's go ahead and get into the video, okay? Oh, before I before I split the deck, I do have our two white candles lit right in front of us. Um, and I did do the pre-shuffle off camera, okay? So let's go ahead and split the deck. Oh, there we go. First, we have to me, you're perfect. So Sagittarius, you're perfect to this person, okay? Um, and I actually I am gonna take this this card too, because technically you're perfect fell and this was sitting there, okay. So we're going to take you to me, you're perfect. And then we have blocked. Okay. So Sagittarius, um, this could be someone that you actually have blocked. Okay. Maybe you blocked this person. Maybe you're like, uh, uh, I don't have time for this. And you went ahead and blocked them. But this person wants you to know that they know they're blocked. And to them, you are absolutely perfect. Okay. They wouldn't change anything about you. Oh, and then we got justice. Oh, so maybe somebody has something going on with the justice system right now. It could be you. It could be your person. Okay. Um, or maybe it's just justice being brought to this situation. Okay. Um, whatever justice means to you or means to this person, um, spirit is about to balance it out. Okay. Um, maybe there's some type of closure or something that needs to happen. Maybe a conversation. Um, but yeah, well, we're, we're going to dig big, we're going to dig deeper, a little bit deeper and figure out what's really going on here. Um, especially with this justice card, cause I'm definitely intrigued on about, about this, uh, this connection right here. Cause, hmm. Okay. We got twin flame. So Taurus, you could be dealing with a twin flame. Okay. Let's like being real, like being honest. Um, you know, those twin flame connections can be kind of, mm, kind of messy. Okay. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe it has been a messy situation with this person. Maybe that's why you blocked this person. Okay. Um, maybe this person blocked you. Okay. Um, but whatever the case is, we got a twin flame here. I know you're the one for me. So. Oh my God, have I been calling you guys Taurus? I am so sorry if I have, because I was getting ready to call you guys Taurus, because I just did Taurus video before that. So I apologize, Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but Sagittarius, this person knows that you are the one for them, okay? This person knows that you're their person, okay? Maybe this person even realizes 
Um, maybe this person even realizes that you are their twin flame, okay? Maybe this person realizes there is some type of deeper soul, higher power, power connection with you, okay? But this person feels like you are their person. This person wants to fight for this, okay? Maybe that's what this justice is. Maybe that's this person coming to bring justice to this connection. Um, that could be what this is. This, your person wants to bring justice to the connection. All right, let's see what else we get. Spirit, please give me messages from Sagittarius, this person. And once again, I apologize if I was calling you guys Taurus. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, when you're doing videos back to back, sometimes, you know. But I got it now. I got it. Sagittarius, your person ain't trying to talk to us. They being real quiet. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We have, I want to do this the right way. So Sagittarius, your person, they want to go about this the right way. Okay. This person doesn't want to like rush to make a decision or rush into action. Okay. This person really wants to sit down and think thoroughly before they just speak or act. Okay, um, this person, maybe in the past, they didn't do things the right way. Maybe you're where you're dealing with somebody who they were dealing with somebody here who is like, you know, impulsive or something like that. Okay, um, this person doesn't want to handle this situation like that. Okay, this person wants to handle this situation differently. Okay, I feel like this person will kind of wants to like tread lightly. I'm a workaholic. Oh, so Sagittarius. Maybe you've been being a workaholic lately, okay? Or it, it simply could just be your person. Maybe your person's really been a workaholic. Um, if you haven't been talking to your person, that could be why. Maybe this person just really like tapped into work right now, okay? Um, but we do have someone here who is being a workaholic, point blank, period. I love your hugs. This person is reminiscing about, you know, hugging you, that energy exchange between the two of you, okay? This person loves when you hug them. This person feels safe when you hug them, okay? Maybe you give really good hugs. Maybe you give those really, like, you know, tight, secure type of feeling hugs. And this person's thinking about that, okay? This person needs one of those hugs right about now. We have, I can't stop loving you. So Sagittarius, you, this person has tried to remove their feelings from this, okay? This person has tried to, you know, s quite frankly, stop loving you. Um, and this person can't, okay? You know, that twin flame energy is uh, the hell of an energy, okay? Um, this person has tried to move forward, and it's hard for them to move forward, okay? I feel like this person realizes they don't want to move forward without you, okay? This person wants you to be a part of their future, ironically we have Taurus <laughs> so maybe there's a reason I was literally calling you guys Taurus okay don't don't yell at me <laughs> there were literally Taurus popped out granted I did do the Taurus reading right before this and I almost did your guys's reading first but I don't know I all of a sudden at the last minute decided to go with Taurus okay so maybe um your person is a Taurus okay maybe um your person has Taurus somewhere in their chart uh, maybe you have Taurus somewhere in your chart, or maybe one of you guys are just simply in a Taurus type of energy right now, okay? Um, feel free to go check out that Taurus reading, especially if you don't know your person's chart, like if you don't know their moon and rising sign, okay? Feel free to go, go check out Taurus because maybe there's a little message up in there for you. We've got past life connection. So yeah, we're dealing with a soul connection here, okay? Someone that you, you've probably met, you know, in other lifetimes and things like that, okay? Somebody that you are literally energetically connected to, okay? 
that's why this connection is uh, is a powerful connection. That's probably why the pull between you two are so strong, okay? You probably came to this reading, rolling your eyes, realizing who this person was out the gate. And yeah, that would explain why this person's energy is popping up for you. Maybe this person's been popping up in your mind lately and things like that, okay? Um, and that's because you guys are connected from a past life, okay? There's a, a strong soul connection here. We have sexual frustration, So Sagittarius, your person could be sexually frustrated right now, okay? Maybe, you know, maybe because they ain't been around you, you know, you ain't been there to put it down on them or something, okay? <laughs> but this person is feeling sexually frustrated. You know, they think about them hugs that you give them and stuff like that, you know? And, and this person is like longing for it, like almost like I need it. I need it. Call Sagittarius. <laughs> All right, then we have divorce. So maybe someone's going through a divorce, okay? It doesn't even have to be a divorce, okay? Maybe it's a um maybe it's a long-time relationship or something like that, okay? Um but regardless, we have divorce and even if you or your person is going through a divorce right now, that could explain why justice came up in these cards, okay? Um, you know, especially if you're dealing with the justice system, going through a divorce, maybe getting justice in a divorce, justice in a breakup, okay? Um, there's multiple ways this, this can kind of go um, as a collective reading, okay? Um, but yeah, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a divorce. Maybe it's just a long-time relationship with someone, you know? So that can feel like a divorce, especially when you didn't build a life with someone, <clears throat> All right, we have, I'm trying to find the right words to say to you. You know, we have right here, I want to do this the right way. This person wants to choose their words wisely, not in a, a, manipulative, in a manipulative type of way, okay? Um, I feel like this person just wants to, you know, they don't want to react in the normal way that they would react or maybe have actions that they normally would have, okay? This person really wants to think things through, okay? This person doesn't want to just say the first thing that comes to mind. I feel like this person really wants to um, have a conversation with you and like, connect with you and really have a real raw conversation with you okay so this person wants to say the right words okay they want to find the right way to express themselves express what they're feeling all right let's see what else spirit please give me messages from Sagittarius' this person. Oh, there we go. Tell me you love me. I need to hear it. So your person is, I feel like emotionally right now, your person is kind of vulnerable, okay? This person, I feel like may not even, they're not even sure if you even still have feelings for them. I feel like this person's not sure, like, they're not, not that they're unsure about you or this connection. They're more so unsure about how you feel, okay? This person feels like they need to hear you say, like, baby, I love you, like, okay? This person wants to hear it come out your mouth, okay? Sure, they can feel like, you know what? I feel so connected and I love this person so much. They probably love me. But this person doesn't want to, like, have to guess if you still love them. They want to hear it from you. They want to hear it out, out the horse's mouth that you love them. I've been thinking about forever with you. Taurus, this person is Taurus. Oh my gosh, some of you guys have to be, I'm, I'm not, someone here watching is dealing with the Taurus, point blank period, okay? Someone here is dealing with the Taurus. So if it's not you, I apologize, but I promise you, I, someone watching is gonna be like, oh my God, that's me. She's talking about me. <laughs> um... Sagittarius, this person is thinking about a future with you, okay? This person is thinking about, you know, what life would be like with you um, years from now, okay? And this person sees that forever with you. This person sees you as their forever person. Um, this person, that's why they want to do this the right way. That's why they want to find the right words to you because they want to be able to express all of this to you. Maybe it's hard for this person to express their real feelings or really say what's on their heart and mind, okay? Um, but... Yeah, this person, that, that, that's what's on their heart and mind, okay? Thinking about this forever with you. Thinking about this future with you. Wanting this future with you.
Spirit, please give me messages from Sagittarius' person. All right. We have overthinker. So Sagittarius, it could be you overthinking right now. Maybe you're in an overthinking type of energy. Maybe your person's in an overthinking type of energy, okay? Um, someone here is overthinking. Someone here is like overanalyzing, okay? Um, they're just, just just the type of energy. I feel like their, their mind and their thoughts, I don't want to say are like clouded, but because there's just so many like so many thoughts running through their mind they can't clearly like think okay and that could be why it's why it's taking this person some time to come forward that could be why it's taking this person some time to find the words to say to you because they're overthinking the situation they're overthinking um that moment when they do come talk to you or that moment where they do pour their heart out to you okay We have, my past might be too much for you. So maybe this person has like a rocky past, okay? Maybe this person, um, you know, maybe this person lived a life that you may not necessarily be happy with or something like that, okay? Maybe this person, you know, what do we call that? <laughs> maybe this person was a free spirit in the past, if you get what I'm saying, okay? Um, but... This person is afraid that their past is going to scare you, okay? Maybe this person did have a troubled past, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be super deep, you know, but it can be, you know, depending on who's watching. Um, but your person is worried that, you know, almost in a sense like you're going to judge them about their past. We got new lover. Ooh. So maybe this is a new lover for you. Maybe this is someone that you recently connected with, okay? Um, maybe this is someone or maybe this is, if you have a couple options out on the table, maybe this is one of the newer people that you've connected with, okay? Or maybe you simply just have a new lover coming forward, point blank period, okay? Maybe you have, maybe there's someone who got their eye on you or something, okay? Um, or maybe, you know, maybe this, this, most of the energy from this reading, maybe this is from you know, a past person, and maybe you have a new person right now, okay? Or maybe there's a new person that's going to come in, and now you're going to have to choose between two people or something, okay? Um, but we do have new lover here. I know it's hard for you to trust me. Especially if that person has a past to them. I could see why this person feels like, you know, it's hard for you to trust them. Especially if, you know, their past was rocky, you know. Maybe they had a wild past or something, okay. Um, but this person understands that it's hard for you to trust them, okay. This person is not saying that they, you know, they don't want you to think that they don't understand. Because they do understand. They know it's hard for you, okay. Um, but this person doesn't want you to feel that way anymore. They understand why you feel that way. But this person wants to, like... How do I put it? This person wants to like work towards making that trust aspect better with you, okay? Spirit is telling me to pull you guys one more card, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. One more card. Okay. I'm in love with you. Maybe you don't know this person's in love with you, okay? Maybe you don't feel like this person's in love with you. Maybe you're unsure if this person's even in love with you. This person wants you to know that they are, in fact, in love with you, okay? That some of you guys, I feel like you may have two people. And if you don't have two people right now, I feel like this either a second person or two people are going to come into your life or something like that. Um, 
we have past life connection and then we also have twin flame so maybe you have a past life connection with someone who's in love with you and maybe this new lover is going to be a twin flame or something okay um it can go multiple ways with this being a uh a collective reading okay for some of you guys i do feel like that is the case maybe you have two people in your life maybe you're about to have two people in your life for others of you this could just all be the same person okay but i, I can't sit here and say that i'm not picking up on like almost like two different energies because I kind of feel like I am, okay? Um, but whoever this person is, they want you to know that they are in fact in love with you and they don't want you to doubt that, okay? They want you to know that. They want to be able to come tell you this, okay? Um, they're just trying to find the courage right now. But all right, my Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it resonated with you. If it did and you haven't already, please subscribe and join our family. Also, give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And it definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. And I will see you guys later. Bye.